There's something about warm autumn days and Snake River Cutthroat that remind Wyoming anglers they live in the best state in the U.S. for fishing. An ideal fall experience awaits along the Grovant River outside of Jackson, where recently the Wyoming Game and Fish Department conducted its annual population estimate of native Snake River Cutthroat along a three-mile section of this river. Fisheries crews with Game and Fish took three turns at this same section, marking first-time captures and recaptured fish by clipping their fins. Game and Fish wants to learn more about how many five-inch or larger Snake River cuts per mile there are in this fishery. They're also looking at how many pounds of fish per mile. That gives biologists a better idea of the health of the fishery and whether or not changes need to be made to fishing regulations here. Data isn't in yet for this year's survey, but Jackson Game and Fish fisheries biologist Tracy Stevens says last year's numbers gave anglers reason to be happy. Last year we saw numbers of Snake River Cutthroat trout greater than five inches over 400 at about 450 per mile, which was about the highest number over the last 10 years. And numbers of fish greater than nine inches were 180 per mile, which was also one of the higher numbers in the last 10 years for this section. Stevens says for a river of this size, those numbers are pretty good compared to past years where averages were more in the range of 350 five inch plus fish per mile. The Grovant River is a fairly popular fishery around Jackson, primarily on public lands. It's accessible to anglers and it's mostly Snake River cutthroat that you'll find in here, aside from some occasional rainbow trout and rainbow cutthroat hybrids. But those are in very low numbers. If weather holds for the next few weeks, get up to Jackson and get in on some of the best fishing the state has to offer. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.